Hey, what's up everyone? It's Mimi. And Lupe. And we are Rhode Island Original. Welcome back to Takeout Tuesday. And do you see this lovely lady next to me right here? Aww. This is Lindsay I. DeLuca. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> that. Like, lovely like, I. Like, <laughs> Lupe, can you tell everybody where we got food from today? This is from a place that I've actually never been to. Okay. And it's been on my foodie list for a little bit. Mm -hmm. E B I S U. Ibusu. Ibisu. 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 Wow. Oh, Here's you were close. Ibisu. Ibisu. Listen, that was pretty good. Listen, this is how you know this is, this show is really real. I don't. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Huh? But I'm excited to taste it though. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? That means the show is not real. People mispronounce stuff on the news all the time. Aaron, again, congratulations on your big Hooters. Uh, the uh, ho oh, Hooters oh, win. You, you said what? Wow, that was a slip of the tongue. That's real. This one is gonna fact check me <laughs> the whole night. Yes, if you recognize Lindsay, you know where she's from, right? I work. Yes, I work for NBC10. NBC10. What channel so, is that? <laughs> I work for NBC10. Sometimes I appear on Roadie Foodie. Never heard of it. But well, we're gonna try some good food. Yes, here tonight. we are. Let's we do are it. gonna try food. What, so, what, what did you have? order here? I see some balls yeah, over here. Yeah, there are balls. Some have... balls have sauce. Those balls have no sauce. I'm into the sauce. I'm dry, into the sauce. Dry balls, wet balls. Wet balls. There you go. <laughs> so, what we are these have, ones um, over here? They are called taco yaki balls. Are they taco flavored? No, I don't think they're taco flavored. Why but are they you could taco? probably put them in a taco if you wanted to. You could put, oh, any, you could put anything but in a taco. Anyways, they're, uh, what are they? They are they're like these little round, they're wheat batter, like baseballs. Baseballs. <laughs> and these yeah. balls are wheat batter based, yeah. and they have like traditionally chopped up pieces of octopus in there. So we'll mm. find out what's in here. Yeah. I don't actually know. I think I want to say octopus, it's octopus huh? in here. And then it's got the sauce on top. And then we have some rice burgers. These are like a couple of items from their tapas menu. Okay. Mm. So this is gonna be good. We have different types of rice burgers. We have the beef one, mm -hmm. we have the chicken one, mm -hmm. and we have pork, mm -hmm. and a very special lamb, lamb one. Yeah. Well, like I'm gonna put some before. sauce on this one because nobody's a winner oh, when it's dry. That's nice. <laughs> there we go. Dry. But yeah, Ibisu is located at 38 Pontiac Ave in Providence, if anybody wants to go and check them out. So right Lovely now, we're goodness. gonna check them out and we're gonna eat some of this food. So, wait, can wait we... I have a question real quick. What's up? What's this stuff on the side here? So the flakes are the Bonito flakes. They're like, yeah. they have like a smoky, fishy flavor. Hmm. And oh, then I thought it was I lettuce. Think, <laughs> I think oh, yeah. the stuff underneath is, is cabbage, I wanna say. It's like, a, it's laid out in a nice little layer of cabbage. Okay, yeah. Possibly. So you well, can feel a little healthy? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take okay. one of the... Yeah. All right, so I can just, like, bite this like a burger, right? Yeah, go for it. All right. I'm Which gonna, one are you going to look at? This I'm, I'm going to wait, because I've never had octopus, mm -hmm. so I want to see your face. It's kind of like squid. Oh, is it like squid? Okay. Yeah. I'll give it a shot, then. It's a little chewier. Just a little yeah. bit chewier than squid. Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, they have, like, chopped up pieces, so it's going to be, like, scattered throughout that. Mm, good. That's very good. Okay, that's good. You like it? Yeah, that's good. I was expecting it to be extremely fishy. Mm -hmm. Not, not, not the case. No. Not the case. No. Uh, it was good. I like. I don't think I've had it from here before. I've had it at other places. Do you know what these kind of almost like? I feel like it's almost like a burger with um, with uh, with like latkes on the outside. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. a little latkes. <clears throat> these are really great. Do that. Mm -hmm. You like them? This is on their tapas menu. Yes. All right, good it for is them. good. Pretty I good. Like them. And they're not like too mushy. They're really, really good. Yeah. Also, I feel like if people see octopus, it's not gonna be something they would think to try. But it's good. Like I, I like it. I probably wouldn't, but it's very good. All right. And this is called what again, Mimi? I know it's you. A rice burger. Sorry, just a rice. I don't like it's crunchy in my mouth. So right the here. the patty is made out of rice. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're working with here? Yep. Patty is made out of rice. Mm -hmm. And you've got onion in there, some shiitake mushrooms, yeah. mac and cheese. This looks like, like a. Really? Yeah, this this looks good. This looks like a mix. Be honest. This looks like a mix between like a burger slash taco mm -hmm. slash something else. Mm -hmm. Laka. Yeah. Okay. Here we but go. like thin ones. You know, really crunchy shell. I have sensitive teeth, but I don't mind this. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. Whatever they marinate the mushrooms and the onions in, great flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. Love the rice burgers, they're so good. Mm -hmm. They're great, and we have so many. So excited! <clears throat> this is fantastic. Here we go. I got a surprise from our friends, and they were dancing. Oh, wow. hey, okay. well, 21 plus people only, mm. by the way. Bye. Here you go, senorita. Oh my god, I got yes! You want the fresh cat? Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. What's Terry, you're not old enough. Sorry, sir. Terry. I'm going to see your ID. I've become that basic bro, as they would call them these days. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just did a hard eye roll. Why would you say because that? Because I like an IPA nowadays. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Hey, I know that. This is very that good. clock. This is the one on um, Westminster, I believe, mm -hmm. in downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's right next to URI. You know how I know they that? They also have the logger and the light. Oh, yes, that's right. Lindsay's a URI alum. Hey, hey, hey. Rhode Island. You are Wait, right. can I try one of the chicken ones? Where's yeah. URI? Is that, is that nearby? Well, I I went to the... What, what do you mean, is it nearby? I mean, I went to both campuses. Why are you trying to confuse me? <laughs> it worked. Excuse me, I'm trying to use your sriracha sauce. Speaking of the holidays, here comes summer. Oh, <laughs> I thought he shook it. I wouldn't do like that. Over. Or would I? Uh, you great idea, that. actually. Great yeah. idea. We got three other beers we have oh my to try. God. Can right. I that sauce? I'm going to try it with the burger. Wh which one's this one over here? Oh, that sauce. Oh, can you or pour that? some more of that? Yeah, Watch absolutely. It. Anything for you, Lindsay Adaluka <laughs> from NBC10. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'd like you to address me that way for me. Oh, my God. So, absolutely. how is it working on NBC10? Can you talk about that? It's fun. I love it. Yeah, I got into news because I care about my home. Mm -hmm. Like, not that I... Not to say, I hate to say that because then, um, like, my last job was in Springfield, Massachusetts, mm -hmm. and I was there for three years, so I really, like, grew to love that community. So what channel were you up there at? Channel 40. Channel 40? Mm-hmm. And now you're on channel what again? Channel 10. Channel 10. Okay. NBC 10. NBC 10. It was known as Newswatch 10 a long, long time ago. That might be oh, when you remember. Oh, my gosh. That was a Are long you, time ago. Yeah. Are you calling me old, ma'am? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. And how long have you been at uh, NBC Channel 10? About two years now. Yeah. Can't believe it. Yeah. yeah. It goes by fast, doesn't it? It really does, to be honest. Like I feel like I just came home like yesterday. So, mm -hmm. so no. what is your favorite? Sorry, what is no, your, no, your favorite ahead. stuff to cover? To be honest, it's weird when people ask me that because it could be such a messed up story. Whatever story I can do that can make somebody's day a little bit better mm -hmm. or can change, you know what I mean? Because like I could meet people this is terrible. Like, I can meet people on some of the worst days of their lives. Right. Mm. But, like, I might be able to make them feel better for, like, 10 seconds. Mm. And, like, cool. I did my job today. Like, I can specifically think of times where I've, like, talked to people who have lost loved ones and, mm. and mm. whatever. And, you know, I think reporters get a bad rap that they're always, like, interview, interview, interview. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's not always like that. Like, first and foremost, like, I can tell you, I'm sure if other journalists... You know, I think that this is a personal thing. Like, I don't, to be honest, care if you think it's right or wrong. But, mm -hmm. like, I never approach somebody who has had such a terrible day, like, at, like with a camera in their face. Mm -hmm. Like, first and foremost, like, I'm always a person. And everyone else is always a person. And I think it's so important right. to remember. And, like, a lot of times, like, people don't want to go on camera. But they want to talk to you because it's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they can... So, I always say anything that I can make somebody feel a little bit better. It could be the best day of their life. It could be yeah. the worst day of their life. Yeah. Yeah. You could still make a difference, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I. That's why I definitely got into journalism is to like help people, which sounds weird, but it's definitely true. Don't but, get me wrong. Yeah. The, and people got to remember that everything's treated differently in yeah. journalism. You're not going to treat a crooked politician right. the same way you're going to treat a mom that just lost mm -hmm. her son. Yeah. Like. Fair enough. It's. Mm -hmm. You got to remember that it's different stuff, but. To be honest, I think that's what separates the good journalists from the ones that need work. You're talking about knowing when to do, what yes. to do, how exactly. to do it? Yes. At a certain time. When, times. yeah. Being human. Exactly. When to know, yeah, when to know, basically like when to know when to chill. Mm -hmm. Like take a seat. Mm -hmm. I've known some people that I'm like, dude, mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Not the time. You know, anytime I'm invited to a friend's house, I know when to ask for seconds and when not to ask for seconds. Okay. You, I'm not trying to, I'm just... You know you don't have any friends. Go that's true. <laughs> okay, well... You just... Okay. That's an exclusive from Channel 10, from <laughs> Lindsay Adeluka. So where, where can people follow you on social media? Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Everywhere. Twitter, my Facebook, Facebook, Instagram. MySpace, my Lindsay no, my Adeluka, space. Friendster. No. Dot com <laughs> All the old MySpace is aim.com <laughs> slash oh Lindsay Ida Luca. Wait, what was your aim name? <laughs> <laughs> what? what was I that? don't remember that. that. I don't that even know. That is a lie. That's a bold face okay. lie. Mine was, now the spelling, if you guys remember, was extremely uh, it, it, it all has to do with it the spelling. It all has to do with the spelling. My first one was Sunshining XO. And then I had 
Uh, which a normal person would call Italian summer girl, but it was spelled... What the heck is that? What does that mean? It was spelled all sorts of weird ways. <laughs> it was like S-M-R, and I was definitely one of those people that spelled like G-R-L. Oh. oh. Like, you don't need the, you yes. don't need the... No vowels yeah, necessary. Yeah, no. Yeah, vowel, that's the word I'm looking for. So my aim name, so it was, it was Loop Dog. Loop Dog. With a, yeah. with a like, double G. Okay. Yeah, like Snoop, a, Snoop Dog. Like okay, Snoop that's Dog. not... It's not yeah. that bad. It's you embarrassing for me, but you know, I'm reflecting inside, guys, of who I am. All right, Pisces. And, and, who, wow. and who I All used right. to be. Hi, this is Lupe. He's actually, how do you pronounce your last name? I don't know. How about you try it out? Aguilar? Oh. <laughs> that's going to get a C minus on your report card. What? It's a standard report card for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my heritage. I'm Lao, so Lotion American. So I went with Lao Juliet and 1011. And then, after a while, I was like, that is super embarrassing. So then I changed it to Ms. Mimi, but spelled Mimi M-E-E-M-I-E, -E -E, instead of M-I-M-I. M-E-E-M-I-E. -E -E -E. I don't know yeah. why I'm writing it, but okay. Yeah, so ah. those, those are my two. And when I look back, it's super freaking embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. What high school did you go to? Were you raised in Rhode Island? The Tej. Yeah, I went to Tollgate. Why you call it the Tej? I don't know, me and my girlfriend's called that. Tj. Tollgate. Oh, okay. Yep. Went to Tollgate, went to URI, so I ventured really far. Mm -hmm. Typical Rhode Islander. But uh, then I went to Michigan for my first job, and then I went to Springfield, now I'm here. Whoa! Mm -hmm. See, I'm learning I'm learning everything. Michigan? You know I went to Michigan. You what did. city? Well, I don't know if you can really call it a city. It's like a town? A village? A village. <laughs> <laughs> a corner? Population 200. A nine square mile town. What? It was like very, very small. I mean, One of the smallest. Well and what was your job there? I was a news reporter. Really? A news reporter and news anchor. It was one of the smallest markets, so to speak, in the country. Oh. Yeah. Like we call markets like where you are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was one of the smallest ones in the country. It was super tiny. Alpena, Michigan. Look it up on a map. Alpena? Alpena. Alpena. Shut up. If this is a man, I was like at the top. Yeah. Wow. I was the top of the lower peninsula. Like so yeah, like it was, was snowing in May. She was in Canada, essentially. Now. At the very core of you. Oh gosh. So, no, like, honestly though, LLS. Tell us yeah. a little bit more about mm -hmm. your campaign for the woman of, and I, I know they call it the man and the woman of the year award, but you're running for it. It's all about the women. Yeah, uh, listen, I surround myself by very intelligent, powerful and beautiful women and I'm very proud of that. I think that the, um, I'm an extreme feminist myself. And I think uh, the future is female, and I totally subscribe to it, and I believe in it. And mm -hmm. you know, I, I think that's one of the reasons why, right, bro. Lindsay, you I, uh, and I have become really good yeah. friends. Mimi, if you are stop studying for a minute, <laughs> maybe we can become friends. No, 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 no just kidding. Do your thing. Do your thing. Because I'm gonna have to ask for a loan in about five years. So <laughs> <laughs> once you're done. So no, but seriously, I think at the end of the day, you know, it's it's cool that you're doing this, but uh, you know, let. Um, the Rhode Island original uh, kind of fan base know a little bit about it and kind of the campaigns that you're running. Yeah. Maybe events that you've done already that were successful. Yeah, and, and Lindsay what, and is highly philanthropic. Family. Yeah, oh. yeah. She is not just a reporter and journalist. Thanks. No, She's yeah. Thank you. I've tr I try. Yeah, I try. try. Yeah, no, you're, you're doing a good job. And I, you know, just to be serious, I know we joke around a lot, but extremely proud of you. And I think that Thank this you. is, Aww. you've raised thousands of thousands of dollars and I think that we should definitely let people know more about it and, and kind of uh, you know what's at the core of it um, and behind your story. Thank yeah. you. I really appreciate that. So I wore this sweatshirt for a reason. This is one of the sweatshirts um, that we sell for my friend's scholarship fund. Um, one of my very best friends when I was growing up um, was diagnosed with leukemia when we were in the fourth grade and um, he battled early. it. Early. Yeah, very early, early yeah, 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 very, very young. Yeah. Um, and a lot of children, unfortunately, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. get leukemia. Um, so I shouldn't say a lot of children, I should say leukemia affects children. Many children. Yes, mm -hmm. children a lot. So um, he was diagnosed when we were in the fourth grade and he battled it for a long time. Freshman year of high school, actually, he was able to come to school um, and he was great. And then um, he was able to play hockey. Uh, and oh, so active. Wasn't like just in the very, hospital all the time and... No, very, okay. yeah, yeah, very active. He was a hockey player, he was a baseball player. Yeah. Um, and then unfortunately, um, the cancer came back and he went to get a bone marrow transplant at Dana-Farber, um, all that stuff. And uh, he passed away May 31st, 2007. 2007, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, my personal attachment to this, it, 
the irony of this is, is I don't know who nominated me. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if somebody, it, it's somebody that knows that I have such a personal attachment to the cause or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I, I immediately started like giving blood because it was just it was just I was 15 um, Andy was 16 when he passed but like as soon as I turned 16 like I was giving blood all the time mm -hmm. because that's like the thing that I could do kind of yeah. like right. to give back yep. um, so and then obviously blood cancer like they're, they're just things that obviously mean a lot to me so um I don't know who nominated me I keep saying thank you like thank you very much I don't know if yeah. they knew or if they just figured because I'm kind of like a community figure that maybe I would do it but um it's something that really means a lot to me um, and specifically, I'm trying to hit my goal of $50,000 because I would like to put a research grant um, in my friend Andy's name. Mm -hmm. so, no, that's very nice. That is, yes, Andrew here. No, that's really cool. Yeah. And, and, it's, and it's weird, too, because I, I kind of, I, I've been involved with the LLS with folks that have actually ran for the uh, Men and Women in the Year of the Award. And you usually know who nominates you. So this is really cool that you literally you don't, know. don't know who. No, I don't know. And I'm wondering, like, if they're ever going to, like, come out and be like, I nominated you. Yeah. <laughs> like, you what? Know. But you never know. You never know. But, yeah. um, but I'm grateful for the opportunity. And, you know, we've talked about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you heard us just mention it. Is, but one of the things when I signed up is everyone was like, oh, my gosh, that's so much work. That's so much work. Anybody that knows me knows, like, I am... A worker bee. I just challenge go. accepted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When people are like, when people are like, "Oh, are you sure you want to do that?" Like, that's a lot of work. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna like do it that. well. Like I'm like, excuse <laughs> me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. This is a Monday for me. I know. Yeah. I know. So um, we've had a lot of successful events. We did um a really great paint night at Brood Awakenings. Mm -hmm. Um, my friend um, Bree Duffy. She has her own um called Brie Ventures. It's really cool. It's mm. like her own company. But she's helped me with like a lot of events. I have Night of Hope, April 27th, which is going to be a really big night. Mm -hmm. Where um, is that, by the way? That's going to be East at Greenwich. the East Greenwich Fire, uh, Veterans Fireman's I feel Hall. like, Lupe, you need to write all this stuff down. It, I, 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 Put it in your phone. Yeah, I'm going to be honest calendar. with you right now. If you have a friend like Lindsay I. DeLuca, you're she easy. does not let you forget. <laughs> so I don't need to really write anything down because All you have to do is I call wake her up, up and it's <laughs> Okay, well thanks for my daily reminder. Thank you, boss. Let's go on to Yeah, and then if you have a friend like Lupe just like <laughs> rises your blood pressure like to well hundred percent. I'm like, ah! that's how I always am reminding you because I'm so nervous. Get a friend like me. Who needs That's not Kevin? the song. Who is needs it? caffeine when you have yeah, Lupe? How's the song go? Right? How's the song go? <laughs> Well, <laughs> you just did it to the tune of You Ain't Never Had a Friend Like Me there from Aladdin. Yeah. Okay. So. Let me add a little bit, guys. <laughs> I be knowing my Aladdin. Aladdin was my first crush. Uh, uh, right? uh, channel what again? Channel 10. Channel 10. Yo, Aladdin right. was hot, though. That purple vest, I was into it. Listen, Jasmine, Woo! Jasmine, uh, I would take her out to Ibisu a little bit. I would. <laughs> you know, yeah, but, uh, yo, what's up, man? Let's get some Narragansett. I would, Ibisu, got some uh, Ibisu. dry balls. Let's do it. You like them dry? Excuse me? <laughs> this was awesome. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, thank you. So for thank you, coming. Mimi, for having me. Oh my god. <laughs> we love Lindsay here. Yeah. Oh, so happy to be Weird. here. I love you guys. I literally, as soon as I saw the RIOG brand, I was like, yo. Oh. Yes. So I am. I am yeah. an RIOG yeah. to the core. I love Rhode Island. I don't care what you say. <laughs> we'll fight you. I know. Everyone says that. My friends, when I lived out of state, they were always like, you really love Rhode Island. I was like, I just love you have Rhode Island's one of those places that you have to come and experience. Yes, you do. Uh, no, I disagree. You have to grow you up here, you hate do. it, leave, and then realize that actually you had it awesome and then come back because it's the people that leave yeah. or you have to not be from here and move here. Yeah. Notice, because people that grew up here and have never left take total advantage of yeah. everything they have. True, yes. true. Complete. That's true. I was born in Rhode Island. And then in kindergarten, I went to school like half a year in Rhode Island, moved to Mass, grew up in Mass, went to school there, went to college, came back, worked in Rhode Island for like six, seven years, and I also lived in like EP, Johnston. Cool. I was like... Alright, so you're an OJ. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. I'm from California. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, California. And if she keeps treating me like this, I might have to move back to Rhode Island because this is abuse. You're gonna move back, back to Rhode Island? Island? I mean, <laughs> really? How's that get set? What the hell is that? Hi, neighbor. What does that mean? So, uh, before we leave, uh, Terry said we can have anything from the ROG catalog <laughs> in the next room. Uh, Terry, you have 4X. If you don't, that's like weight a bathing, discrimination. I'd like a bathing suit. 
Are those coming out? Ooh, that's a good I'll idea. Like no, but I want an R.I.O.G. bathing suit. A yeah. one piece. We will piece. make. I want a one piece. One very special. I want a cheap bathing suit. Yo, legit. I will light up the gram with that. I'll be honest with you. I want a two piece for myself. <laughs> and I want a one piece. I'm more of a one piece sort of girl. I'm more of a three but piece. Figure three that one piece. out. <laughs> Figure that out. That do the math. One plus one equals three. Figure it out. Uh, no, I like the one piece. It makes your butt yeah. look better. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's about time, IPA, Rhode Island Original. Yes. We love All this. All these lovely Gansets out here too. Gansett, yeah. we love you. Thank you, Keep thank doing you. it. Keep hiring more people. Grow Keep the economy. We love it. R-I-O-G. Here we go. So, everybody, please thank Lindsay. Everybody. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, yeah, and thank Mimi and us. Lupe, yes. let's be honest. The... All right, Real. we love you guys. Yes, All right, OG in the building. Thank you, everybody. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and everybody follow Lindsay on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and everything that she has. And follow my peeps and get their merch because it's dope. And her phone number is... I will kill you. <laughs> I will kill you. Until next time, bye, everyone. Smokes. See ya. Mwah. We love you. <laughs>